Look at her. Hey guys, it's your girl Zanette. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So right now I'm about to go get my hair done. I ordered some bundles and so hopefully they work out well. My sister told me about these bundles on Amazon. I'm gonna let you guys know if they're good or bad. I will link them below if y'all want to know. But I got three 20 inch bundles for like $77. So anyways, I don't know if you guys know, but my man, my man, my man works outside the country. He left last week, but before he left, he left me a few dollars. So that's what I'm getting my hair done with. And then we're gonna go to the mall, y'all. This, this would be funny if these are fake, right? So, but yeah, we're about to go to the mall and see what they have after my hair appointment. So, yeah, I told him this might not be enough, but he said, make it enough. And I said, okay. I would just be so distraught if he sent me back to the ghetto though. Like, but y'all, after I get my hair done, my eyebrows are done, and then my nails is done. So baby, I'm trying to be outside. Okay. And then these are from Amazon. Okay, so before I go, I'm gonna make me some coffee and then I'm just gonna eat like a banana nut muffin and I gotta take my water because I have to stay hydrated. y'all and so this week i had my nephew for like actually i had him for over a week he just left like a few days ago and zero out of ten i do not recommend it okay having kids he, well he's a teenage boy but child i'm telling you he works every single night with my body out I, I was so happy when he left definitely would not recommend he's his ghetto work is ghetto there's a lot of ghetto things in the world that i want to be no parts of So I drink the Houston blend from H-E-B. Oh my gosh, this coffee is so good, y'all. All right, guys, so I have my water and my coffee and I'm about to head out. Apparently, I'm dressed up, but not really. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. Just wearing this two-piece workout set, yoga set, I guess it's called my Louis Vuitton sneakers, my Louis Vuitton Metis, and my Amazon glasses. These glasses are so cute. I kind of think I want them in like a different color, like a clearish color, but we'll see. But the clearish color had silver and I wear a lot of gold jewelry. But yeah, let me head out before I am late. First of all, get these bitches. I ain't even care about your wishes. You know I'm a different girl. I come from a different world. It ain't even worth us splitting. But if you know what I was hitting, y'all, so my hair is done. And now we hit it to the mall, y'all. That took longer than I thought. I thought it's called a quick read for a reason. My hair point was at 11. I'm leaving here at 3 30. But, anyways, y'all. She used all three bundles. Like, my hair is thicker than me. But I like it. It gives um, body. <laughs> like, I get body. <laughs> but, anyways. Hey, okay, y'all. So, now I'm about to head and give me some food. Like, some quick food. Like, Chick fil A or something. Because I'm absolutely starving. And I don't need. And I don't want to eat like at the mall because it always be so crowded down there in the food court and I'm like claustrophobic and I need those kids running around. Mm, 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 mm. So anyways, I'm out to get some Chick-fil-A and then head to the mall. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I just went to Whataburger real quick and I can't go any further. Like I went to the drive through and I came straight to the parking lot because I'm going to eat this here. I literally can't go no further because I'm so hungry.
Okay guys, so I just got back from the gym. I'm making spicy salmon bowls right now. Um, so yeah, I have the salmon in the air fryer. I cut up some, what's this stuff called? Cucumber and avocado. So once that's done, and I'm making some rice now, right now. So once that's done, I'm just gonna top it with some spicy mayo and some sesame seeds. So you guys, in the gym today, I, so one thing I'm starting to do now is cardio since I'm trying to lose weight whereas before I would do like 10 to 15 minutes cardio and then I would like work on all these machines but now since the key to losing weight is cardio I did 30 minutes cardio and then the rest of 30 minutes like lifting weights and all this other stuff that is not even helpful so hopefully we'll see a difference I and predicting I'm gonna be sore in the morning don't worry about my hair I sweated it out because I was literally running on the treadmill so yeah I predict I'm gonna be sore in the morning and then be back at it the day after tomorrow because I'm serious about this and my intermittent fasting but y'all I thought I thawed out my salmon it was not thawed out so now I'm kind of behind schedule for my fast but hopefully I will be done eating by 8 p.m. because I gotta cut it off. But yeah, y'all, I don't think I told you guys. So I'm going to Turks um, next month, like literally in two, almost two weeks, basically. So I'm mad that I'm going to be chubby in Turks, but it's okay. Because why well, have two weeks to like try to get this in, you know, in your right? which it really doesn't take much for me to get it right because as long as everything looks, hey Google stop. As long as my stomach and stuff gets flat, which I typically can do pretty fast, I'm hoping I can get this done in like two weeks. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on the progress. So I took my apple cider vinegar today and my probiotics, which I used to take all the time and I used to like keep me snatched. So, Y'all are gonna be with me on this journey. I need to really be documenting like day one, day two. Yesterday was my first day of the fast, so we'll see how I look going to church. My only issue is eating early because sometimes I cook late. Like today, thawing up this meat. The meat was in the refrigerator, so it's beyond me why it wasn't thawed out. It was in the refrigerator all day for like 10 hours. It's beyond me why it wasn't thought out. Cause I don't like leaving my, like leaving it out like in the sink to thaw. I'd rather leave it out in the refrigerator, which I guess isn't the best idea. Okay, so y'all, it's all done. I'm just plating it right now. Yum. Okay guys, so I am working right now. So I didn't eat until like 11.30. I ate a granola bar and right now I'm eating my second meal which is just some leftover food while I'm working. Yeah. It's pretty serious over here. So yeah, my sister said she was doing the fast with me why i just text her it's 1 p.m and i'm like how is your fasting going she's like oh i ate a for roll up at 8 a.m and i haven't ate anything since like you're not doing it right just give up hey guys so i just got back from fedex i went to go print off a bunch of stuff for my walk that's coming up my event that's coming up on saturday and of course not everything was ready and then they couldn't find my work account so that was crazy then after that i stopped at walgreens you guys walgreens is having a bomb sale on um ormond hammer products like detergent uh the wash pads and then liquid detergent this is kind of crazy like, so i got like hella of these ones Um, yeah, some little fragrance boosters. That is the purifying water scent. And then I got these ones, Fresh Burst. They look like they smell really good. Then I just got a bunch of detergents and then like more pads. 
pods sorry not pads pods but yeah so as you guys know i'm doing intermittent fasting so i'm about to eat um and then do some more work submit another order to fedex just so i can have everything done for the weekend and be prepared for the weekend you know but there's some things i can't do until friday at fedex so i'm gonna hold off on some of the stuff but what i can do now i'm gonna do now getting work done because as you know my event is in two days two days in two days i could breathe in two days i plan to do so much after my two days are up like i plan to be more consistent on here we'll see how that goes but yeah because currently like well with my event i had to plan two events where a lot of people in other markets such as austin they have one event san antonio one event dallas has two events however they have three employees but in houston for some reason two events and just me how do we think that is realistic i don't know so anyways you guys i have been really busy working on this event. i have a meeting like in five minutes but y'all i can't wait because in these two days i'm gonna be able to feel like i could breathe you know i have been drowning drowning you know having a job is ghetto ghetto zero out of ten do not recommend like but i can't wait to my event it's gonna be a great event because not only for like the things that go into each event i have to do logistics this is my first time actually have to do to do like logistics from top to bottom like every single thing at my last company we had an event planner so here i am the event planner and then not only am i the event planner i'm the fundraiser too i have to call make call, find times to make calls to recruit teams find times to call my team captains and you know tell them to fundraise more money it's just like how is this realistic and then also find time to send emails to the people who have donated and like thanking them for their donation yeah it's a lot and then i also have the mayor um, the marathon the houston marathon which is coming up in january and i need to also recruit for that at the same time and send out emails to those people as well Y'all, I have a headache just thinking about it, but why did anyone ever think that this is a job for one person? It's not. It's really not. Hey guys. Oh, sorry. Hey guys. So I'm headed to Panera right now to get the donation of Danishes they're going to give me for the event tomorrow. And then after that, I will be headed to FedEx and then to Crumble Cookie. I try to straighten my hair a little bit. I hope I only have to go to FedEx once. I feel like I might have to go there twice and I'm annoyed by it. But yeah, let me head out. So donation secured. Look how big the bag is. It has like over a hundred pastries. How nice of them. But yeah, and I'm definitely gonna keep that bag. <laughs> also, I got like two boxes of copies that I did in FedEx. Um, tell me why I was in FedEx for two hours literally spent two hours FedEx so I'm finally done with that and then not only that FedEx is, was supposed to ship some signs to my house um and they're supposed to be there today I called and they're at another FedEx and they're like um we close at seven so you need to like hurry up and get here so I have 25 minutes to get there so let me hit that way hey y'all so I'm headed to crumble cookie now and I'm literally starving like I want to eat but y'all know I'm intermittent fasting so Right when I leave Crumble, I'm about to go find me some food. And I really have a taste for sushi. And I've been working hard. So I'm going to treat myself and get me some sushi. But yeah. So I'm headed to Crumble right now. And then a lot of my other donations. Like I got Panera. Not Panera. Sorry. Panera. I went to earlier. Um, Kalachi. At the light. Use the left two lanes to take a slight left turn onto us 290 Frontage Road. I don't know why that's so loud. I'm just okay but anyways i had a kolache factory like donate four trays of kolaches um this bagel shop like this new york bagel shop in one donated. mile keep what left to merge okay, onto I'm see when I get home. you guys it smells so good in here i'm so hungry i want to eat these cookies but i'm not gonna eat them i'm gonna wait till tomorrow okay guys the cookies are secured they gave me three dozen donated and then they gave me a free one, which I can't wait to eat. And for some reason, y'all saw all the flavors, but I decided to get the buttermilk pancake. Hopefully it's good.
Okay guys, so I made it to Miyako's. I'm getting some sushi. I've been craving sushi. Hold on, my camera's a little dirty. I've been craving some sushi. So I ordered, so far I started with the edamame and then the S&M roll, I think it's called. Y'all, look, I went home and fired my hair. It's poofy again. So tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my event. But yeah, so when I get home, I need to load up my car and then do my hair. That's the main two things that I need to do. I probably won't go to sleep until like 11 p.m. But okay, so as I was trying to tell y'all before, the other food that is already, um, that I got for the event as well, but a volunteer is gonna pick it up. I didn't have to pick it up, thank God, because I didn't want to be running around all around Texas. Like tonight, I didn't finish running my errands until seven. If I had to pick up the rest of the stuff, like I would have still been out. So anyways, um, there's gonna be Chick-fil-A there. Kalachi factory, they're doing like four trades of Kalachi. Then this um, bagel shop is doing some bagels and some smear. And then they're gonna have the crumble cookies as well as the Panera bread danishes. So it's gonna be a thing. But anyways, y'all see like everyone here is like dressed up in costume, all the waiters. It's kind of cute. Shopping YouTube. Are you like a celebrity? No. Okay, you guys know I just came for food and then I met someone and now we're taking sock somebody has been taking sake bombs. Like this is not what I came for. And now they're trying to go to the club. Like, no, I'm going home. I need to wake up for my event tomorrow. How did this happen? Now I'm taking shots and y'all know I have to be up very early in the morning. So yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm headed home, but my whole night was free. That was crazy. Like, that was literally, like, my first solo date. And, like, someone just came up to me and paid for everything. That was great. And then now I'm leaving a little later than I wanted to leave. So that is the downside of it. In 3.6 miles, make a U-turn at Cockrell Street. Because I have to wake up so early. Okay, guys, so I put in my flexi rods. And I'm fixing my broken nail right now. Just getting, breaking down some of the glue. And I'm just gonna glue it back on. And then after this, I'm gonna eat my cookie and go to sleep. Fix my nail. And now I'm about to eat my cookie from Crumble and then go to sleep. Cause I gotta wake up in the morning. Bright and early. It's right now, it's like 12.30. Good morning y'all. I'm so I'm just in my face. I just washed my face. Now I'm going in with some toner and I'm about to moisturize and put on some oil. I'm gonna do a quick little bead and throw on my clothes because I gotta go. Okay guys, so now I did the um, strip lease run. Now I need to run to Starbucks to get the coffee. Okay, next stop, Starbucks. Starbucks, I totally just walked in and said hello and nobody said hi back, like how rude. But anyways, you know. Hey guys, so as you know, I had my walk earlier today. I came home, took a nap, and now your girl got ready to go out. Let me show you my outfit real quick. Let me turn on more lights. And I have a feeling this battery is gonna die soon. And I'm just gonna go meet up with my friend at a door for some drinks. So, this is this. I'm wearing this tube top and then these black pants. This mirror is a little dusty. My outfit not dusty. Okay. And I'm just put on some black heels and probably wear my black mini Dior bag or my Chanel. I don't know. But yeah, let me hurry up because I need to fix my toenail and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, guys, it's Halloween and I'm dressed as a pharaoh. So cute. Can y'all see my whole outfit? And I love it. I got it from Fashion Nova. I love the arm things, this neck thing. I wish I would have got a head thing, but it's cute. Big dog status, Bill Hubble. A ball in his mouth for my brothers. Oh, y'all bang, told the cuddle. I got it out the field, fuck Russell. Going as Lori about the paddock, then going as Joy and as Dead. Felipe Water trying to drown a bitch.
This a habit tricking on a bitch. Shit, I'm thinking I'm curving a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like it's done. Shit, that curve was gonna sit, nigga, trim. Shit. Okay, guys, so it's Halloween day. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna go to my sister's house and watch movies with her and my nephews. Um, I was watching American Horror Story, but I'm about to head out and head the way to my sister's house in hell. And she's gonna order some pizza and stuff, so yeah, we're just gonna chill. So, I'll see y'all there. You excited for it? So, I made it to my sister's house. We're about to eat some pizza and watch the Hundred in Venice or Hulu. So, hopefully it's good, y'all. Tangled with me goes all these drugs and guns. Think we've been